Altma created the Thought Leadership Award so that we could recognise firms that were doing something different in this changing legal landscape. By shining a spotlight on their achievements, we showcase what's possible and hopefully inspire them to innovate in their own practices. Law firms need to innovate in order to remain relevant in a rapidly changing legal environment. Our clients are demanding better value and are no longer loyal to one firm for life. Advances in technology are transforming the way that we deliver legal services, so innovation is essential for firms to thrive in this environment. We're actually nominated for two projects. Uh, the first is redefining the client experience through our use of our uh, client care and client success teams. The second uh, relates to uh, our transformative legal tech. So in terms of the first project, um, the, the client experience project, uh, really comes down to our client care team and the way that we deal with inbound inquiries. So in our model, the Legal Vision model, we, we acquire about a, 100 leads a day through our website um, and a bunch of other uh, channels. Obviously, it's very difficult to uh, deal with those leads in a traditional way. A traditional law firm, you do that by having a partner potentially uh, have a chat to each client, have a consultation face to face just not possible uh, with, uh, with 100 leads a day. So we've built out a process uh, with a client care team of, uh, of uh, junior lawyers who basically deal with all those leads in a very efficient, structured way, providing a much more effective client experience and ultimately uh, providing uh, more cost-effective solutions to those clients than a traditional law firm would. The second initiative that we've been uh, nominated for is uh, our building of uh, transformative legal tech. So as a business, we actually started off as a tech business rather than a law firm. We evolved into a law firm over a number of years. So our, our DNA is really uh, centered around building our own technology. So we've built everything that we use from the ground up, from our um, practice management systems uh, to our doc automation systems, our machine learning systems, everything that, we've, uh, that, that we deploy, we've actually built ourselves. Each of those pieces of technology allows us to deliver a more efficient, a more cost effective and ultimately we believe a better client experience uh, to both SME and enterprise clients. Ultimately our client care team, which is the team that deals with all of our inbound leads, uh, has been built that way because we've got so many leads. It's incredibly difficult to, to actually deal with the sheer volume of inquiries uh, using traditional ways of doing things. So we've actually had to redefine the way in which we run our team. Now the way we did that was actually to look at uh, software as a service businesses and, and have a look at how they run those sort of teams and build on the learnings from those type of businesses. So ultimately the big challenge was building from the ground up a, a radically different way of servicing inbound inquiries. Very challenging, but we've, uh, we've managed uh, to do that and, and uh, for us now it's a great pathway um, into our legal team. So everyone who starts in our client care team will do a year or so in the team, build their skills, build their understanding of how to deal with clients, build their understanding of all the legal issues that clients come up with. And then after about a year, they move into our legal team. So it's sort of a graduate program in that sense, and it's been very, very effective uh, for us in building the lawyers of the future. The biggest issue with uh, legal tech, in my view at least, is that most legal tech providers don't actually use the products that they've built. So you've got a bunch of legal tech providers out there that are pure tech dev shops. Um, our advantage as a law firm is we've got a live testing ground for all the technology we develop. So that's the key challenge. How do you build technology that lawyers can actually use and will use on a day-to-day -day basis? That's the challenge that we've been focused on and by building our own internal tech team, we've, we've managed to, to solve a lot of those issues. So ultimately law firms as a whole provide a pretty bad customer experience to, uh, to the average SME or even enterprise customer. And that can be measured by NPS, the average law firm NPS is 17. Uh, and so the challenge for us was addressing that. How do we provide a better client experience at the first point of contact? We did that ultimately by putting in place a lot of training. So a huge amount of training goes into our client care team 
how to interact with customers, how to understand the legal issues that they're facing and how to get back to them as effectively and quickly as possible. So we've really reduced turnaround times uh, from when a client gets in touch to when they get a quote and when the legal work is done. That whole project of client experience um, you know, was, was, was ultimately very challenging, um, but we've managed to change or move our NPS from around 50 all the way up to 78 over the course of the last year and a half. So it's really ultimately addressing the challenge in that way and, and, and the result is the, the ultimate NPS score. Ultimately, the way to measure this sort of thing, in my view, is growth. Are you growing as a business and how quickly are you growing as a business? If you're growing really quickly, it means the customers uh, like what you're doing. It means that employees, team members like working in your business. And, and, and it's those sort of numbers that ultimately uh, matter to me. So if we look at um, growth, we've grown at 5% uh, month on month over the last couple of years. So extremely rapid growth. We've had um, headcount growth of 37% over the last year. Um, and crucially, we've serviced uh, almost 9,000 customers now. So a huge volume of, of SME customers um, have been serviced. We've managed to grow into the enterprise space, so we're, we're doing a lot more work with large enterprise clients. And it's that sort of mixture of, um, I guess, numbers ultimately that, 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 that fuel the growth and that, um, to me, sort of show the impact of what we're doing. Ultimately, I think both projects show that law firms can deliver huge value to clients by doing things differently. It's not about doing things the same as they've always been done. It's about really changing, revolutionising the delivery of services. And if you can do that, you're actually giving access to legal services to a whole bunch of clients that wouldn't have had access to them before. So it's really, ultimately for me, that's the impact. Have we serviced a whole lot of clients in a much more cost-effective way and it provided a much better client experience over the course of the last year with these projects. In my view, we have, and in my view, this is the direction that ultimately all law firms are going to need to take if they want to uh, compete in, in, in the market. LexisNexis gets involved with the Thought Leadership Awards because it's a great opportunity for us to see the amazing ideas that can come from across Australia and New Zealand in the legal market. Leveraging technology to operate a firm more efficiently, uh, leveraging new ways to structure a firm and finding ways to really bring uh, better outcomes for clients. It's just an amazing opportunity for us to be a part of that. I've been doing it for about three years now and the ideas every year just seem to be more um, outstanding and just really cutting edge.